Keith Gavin right off the mat from the mini tournament, third, fourth match. Uh, tough loss, semifinal to uh, Paulson, two ball grabs. Ultimately, going against Paulson, uh, did you know it could come down to he was going to fight for the ball grab? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, his defense is really solid, and he has a great chest lock, so he's hard to score on. And um, about a minute into the match, I kind of figured, I was like, oh, okay, I see, we're probably going to end up in the ball grab, but that's what he was trying to do, you know, and uh, we can't really blame him, you know, I mean, it's like, I, I didn't get my offense off enough, I came... You know, I had like an arm drag that was kind of half-assed, uh, an almost single leg, and so, I mean, my offense wasn't good enough, you know, and I lost two ball draws. And, you know, it comes out his color both times, I and mean, what do you do? Obviously, you train for that, but they're right. so, the Paulsons, I mean, they both have the same style. Mm -hmm. They're so strong, they both have great defense. Yeah. Um, how do you train for the ball grab with the Paulsons? Yeah, it's a hard position to win against anybody, but um, it sucks, I mean, you train your ass off and then to lose like that, it's really hard to... Cause you don't feel like you lost, you know? You don't feel like you got out of the you got beat. So you just feel like, you know, you almost feel cheated, but that's the way it is. That's the, that's the rules and, you know, like I said, I, it's my fault for not having good enough offense in that match. Okay, you've been kind of split in time is my understanding between LVAC and Ohio RTC, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, my, my wife got a job in Columbus, Ohio, so uh, we pretty much moved out there and... Uh, after NCAA, so not that long ago. And then <clears throat> Pat Santoro and LVSC has been awesome about it and just still, uh, you know, supporting me. Because well, it was kind of, you know, an odd time to do that, but I had to do it for my family. So, but yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'm at Ohio. I asked JD the same question yesterday. How important was it to, to fight back and, and take third in the mini tournament? I mean, it doesn't mean anything, really. I mean, you lost the Olympic spot, but really it's just, it's just about pride, you know. It's not, I mean, you don't want to do it, you know, when you're losing two ball poles, you just want to, you know, pack your shoes up and go home, but, um, and like, it's just about pride, not laying down, you know, and finishing the tournament. What are we going to see you moving forward with, uh, your, your wrestling career? You know, obviously the shoes are still on, they're not in the middle yeah. of the mat, they're I'm, on your I'm feet. I'm never going to do that. <laughs> you're never going to do yeah. that. That's, that's, that's just weird. But, uh, <laughs> well, what, what, what's, what's the future for Keith Gavin in wrestling? Uh, who knows? Like I said, I'm in Ohio. Uh, I'll probably be training there. Um, I don't know if you know for how long or, or you know, how long I'll keep doing this, but for right now, I'm in Ohio and I'll, I'll still be training. Yeah. All right, you got anything else for me, Keith? No, that's it. Thanks. All right, hey, congratulations on coming back, fighting back. Yeah. Hey, pride. Yeah, yeah. 